In this video, we are going to start with revision exercise 1 of equations, expressions, inequalities and identities. You will find this on page 39 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Okay, in the first video, I want you to do number 1, 2, uh, 3, let's just see, I think only up to there. Okay, I want you to do stop the video and try that free. And as soon as you are done, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start with number 1. A curve has the equation. Find the set of values for, for, um, of x for which y is bigger than 9. Okay, so let's start. y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x. And I say y is bigger than 9. So there I substitute in the place of y, 2x squared minus 3x bigger than 9. Then I take everything to one side. Now, this is a quadratic inequality. And go back in this chapter and see how we solve that. We, we are first going to make it an equation on the side. Just do it on the side. Okay. Then we are going to factorize it. So if we factorize it, make it 3 and 3 and 2 and 1. This is group B. So 6 minus 3. What is 6 minus 3? That is 3. The biggest over cross gets a negative, and this gets a positive, and there's the x, and there's the x. So basically, I'm ending with 2x plus 3 equals 0, or uh, let's just move it a little bit, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so basically, I'm getting 2x is negative 3, or x is Three. Okay, that is very long. <laughs> I could have already been done. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, I'm, sometimes I just do the math and not thinking. Okay, and then just to write, it's easy. Okay, but let's just get that places. So this is minus, say for example, this is minus 3 over 2, and so there is 3. And there is your curve. Okay, it doesn't matter, it's just rough. Now, that is bigger, so that must be bigger. So, that means that I must highlight the top. Do you see? And there's not an equal sign. So, meaning that if, if I want, and I'm just going to go now to read, if I, and I go to that side, and I go to that side. So, therefore, I can say, therefore, x is to this side smaller than negative 3 over 2, or x is bigger than 3. And that's how you do number A. Okay, number B. Now, let's just go take another color, number B. Express this in the form. Okay, now where A, B, and C are constants, and state the coordinates, so always be careful if a question asks two things. So in this case, it is First, that you must express it in that form, and then you must state the coordinates of the turning point, the vertex. Okay. Now, don't let it discourage you because there's not a constant value. You, you just exactly do the same as you used to. Okay. So, in this case, I'm going to take out 2 because it must be 1. But remember, it's like a common factor. So it's x squared. So that is 3 divided 2, because that was 2 divided 2, and that's why it was 1. So it was 3, okay, there is x squared. Then 3 divided 2x. Okay. Actually, I can continue now, because I'm going to add, and I'm just going to clean this. We don't need this anymore. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to add. This middle value divide by 2. Now, if, if you take the middle value and you divide it by 2, 2, then it's actually 3 over 2 multiply 1 over 2, which is 3 over 4. So it's plus 3 over 4. And, and you can keep the negative, but it's not going to have an influence. Squared 
and then whatever you add that you must subtract okay and then <clears throat> you just go and you close your bracket okay now remember this is your perfect square now so if you're going to write it it's going to be x that sign and the 3 over 4 okay I forgot always put a bracket like that and then square and then work out that that's 9 over 16 okay uh, now I'm just going to continue I must bring this now in mm. So I multiplied, not inside, just in front. So it's 2 bracket x minus 3 over 4 squared. Now remember this is over 1. So it goes in 1, 8. So it's negative 9 over 8. So that is expressed in that form. So therefore, the vertex or the turning point is... And remember, it's the different sign, so it's not negative, it's positive 3 over 4, and grab that sign, negative 9 over 8. And that's what they want in question B. Okay, let's make, make space for number 2. <clears throat> okay, let's just do that number 2. Okay, there it is. Let's see, number two. The equation of the curve, there is the curve. And the equation of this, there's two, so it's a curve in a straight line, where k is a constant. Find the set of values of k for which the line does not meet the curve. Okay, that's the nature of the roots that I'm busy with now. So let's first write down my two equations. Okay, my one equation, that's my curve, is equal to 2x plus 12 over x and my other equation is okay let's just make it another color it's not going to have an influence it's just standing out okay so before i can work out i must first make it one equation by substituting the one into the other one so basically um i'm just going to in the place oh oh oh, oh i want to say okay, let's just make it smaller there's no y <laughs> okay there it is Okay, so sometimes you discover it quickly, your mistakes. Okay, so you can, you can make this equation y equals k minus x. Because then you can just put this side equal to this side. So then you're going to say k minus x is equal to 2x plus 12 over x. Okay. Now, it's like we put it over 1, but we multiply x, multiply x, multiply x, multiply x. So this is going to become um, kx. Right? Okay, let's just, yes. This is going to become kx minus x squared is equal to 2x <clears throat> squared plus 12. Okay, now I just take everything to one side and, and take it to the, that it's positive there. So let's rather go to that side. So I'm going to have... 2x squared plus x squared. I just want to bring a bit of water. Okay. And then a minus kx plus 12. <clears throat> that is going to give me 3x squared minus kx plus 12. Okay. So now the nature of the roots. So I'm at nature of roots of a quadratic equation of roots. If this does not mean, mean, meet the curve, so no in intersection. But the thing I want to come to, then the discriminant is smaller than zero. Okay. And now I'm going to work out that discriminant. So b squared minus 4ac is smaller than 0. So remember that is a, that is b, that is c. Okay, so that's a, b, c. So in the place of b squared, it's negative k squared minus 4a3, c12, and that's smaller than 0. So that's going to be k squared, get that thing correct, <laughs> 
pi squared minus, and if I multiply that out, 144, and again, it's a quadratic inequality. So again, go to this side and just say k squared minus 144 is equal to 0. Now, the nice thing, because there's not a middle term, I can just take this over. Actually, I can already take the square root, and it's plus minus, and it's plus minus 12. Meaning, if I'm going to draw a graph now, and let's just do that graph. Okay, and that is going to be negative 12, and that is going to be 12. So basically, if I'm going to draw the graph, let's just draw the graph. Okay, it doesn't matter, I'll just draw it. And then after I look smaller, and if I see smaller, then I know smaller is below the x-axis. So that means, that means, let's just get the pen again, that means that this, 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 that is the, the part. So I can end by saying, therefore, k is bigger than negative 12. Remember, if there is no equal, there is no equal. If there is equal, then there is also equals. Okay, and that is 12. And that is then my final answer. In that, it, did, it will not intersect but the, but the graph. No intersection will take place. Does not meet the curve. Okay, that was just number A. Now I must still do number B. Okay, so let's just mark this. This was A. Now number B. I just want to see if I can make... Okay, in the case where... And I'm going to do it now here under... I think I'm going to make it a bit smaller, that we can just see everything and that I can still do it. Okay, I'm going to do B here. So in the case where K is 15, so you can basically just take this equation, the one that you already here, and you can put just in the place of K a 15. So you're going to have 3 X squared minus 15 X plus 12 equals 0. Okay, because they say in the case where k is 15, the curve intersects the, li uh, the line at points A and B. Find the coordinates of. So they say basically the curve was referring to this. 3x squared minus 15x plus 12. But if I want to see where it intersects, um, the curve intersects the line at the points. Where I see, I put it equal to 0. And now, I'm just basically going to solve that. Just take note, before you factorize, that you can divide by 3. So you're going to end up with x squared minus 5x plus 4, and that's 0. And now I'm going to factorize, and I'm going to just quickly work out that it's going to be 4 and 1 and 1 and 1, because it's group A, so 4 plus 1 is 5, the sines minus minus x, x. So basically, <clears throat> the signs are the same, both are neg negative. So it's x minus 4, x minus 1, and that's 0. So therefore, x is equal to 4, or x is equal to 1. Okay, but they, they, they asked you, and you can go a little bit lower and see, Find the coordinates, not just the x values. So I can I can just go and I can even use this equation. It doesn't matter which one you use. I basically just use this equation. Then I have an equation for y. Did you see that? So if I y equals okay, just remember it's now going to be y equals 15 minus x. So if I want to find this, I'm going to say y equals 15 minus x, so it's 15 minus 4, or y is equal to 15 minus x, and it's 15 minus 1, and that's 11, and that is 14. And then you end up by saying, okay, so therefore, you can, doesn't matter, a is 4 and 11, and b is 1 and 14. And that will be points A and B. Okay, that is how you did number two. 
Now we will, in this video, go to the final one in this video. So, <clears throat> um, I can just check here. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, <clears throat> I must make it a bit bigger that we can read better. Luckily, this is not a very long one, so we can just stop it. Okay, let's go to the final one, number three, in this video. So I'm going to say, find the real roots. Okay, it's usually where it cuts the x-axis, but let's just start. That is number three. Just want to clean it nice. Three. Find the real roots of the equation. So let's start by saying 18 over... In, come on. 18 over x4 plus 1 over x squared equals 4. The first thing, get rid of the fractions. How do you get rid of... It's, it's actually like you multiply x4 over 1. x4 over 1. x4 over 1. So that cancel. And if you do that, you're going to get 18 plus 4 minus 2. So there will just be x2. And this will be 4x to the power of 4. Okay. So if you take everything to one side, you're going to get 4x to the power of 4 minus x squared minus 18. Okay. So now, th this is that quadratic equations in disguise. It's where it, you can see it's double. Do you see that? That one is double that one. So basically, I do exactly the same. I factorize. So I'm going to say, in this case, if I factorize, let's say 9 and 2, it's group B. And let's make it 4 and 1. Because 9 minus 8 will give me that 1. And then the biggest over cross product gets a negative, and this gets a positive. And then this is x2, remember, that middle, x2. So I'm, I'm getting here... 4x2 minus 9 and x2 plus 2. Okay, <clears throat> so basically I'm just now going to solve these equations. So if I'm solving these equations, I'm getting 4x squared equals 9. I put it, well, um, both equal to 0 because one of them will be 0. Um, let's just go. And this will be negative 2. Now, this is going to be 9 over 4. And this, but the problem, okay. So, this is not the problem. The problem is this one, because you cannot get a negative square root. So, you can just say, reject. No solution, something like that. Okay. And you just continue with this one. So, x, and don't forget your plus minus. And that's going to be 3 over 2 plus minus. And you can just end up by saying, therefore, real roots, uh, or the real roots are x equals 3 over 2, or x equals negative 3 over 2. And that's how you do number 3. In the next video, we will continue with this revision exercise.